Watch the breath coming in, going out. Hold on to the breath. And try to let go of everything else. Other things may come passing into your range of awareness, but you can just let them do their own thing. You don't have to get involved. Don't think of them disturbing you. Actually, when you get involved with them, you're disturbing them. Because these are the sort of things that if you don't latch on to them, they just go passing by, passing by. It's because the mind tries to hold on. That's when they create trouble. So for the time being, hold on to one thing, just the breath coming in and going out. If you try to let it go entirely, there's nothing. You start thrashing around and who knows what you're going to grab hold of. So hold on to something you can depend on, something you can rely on. The breath is coming in, going out, and you can make it comfortable, so it's a good place to hold on. Because otherwise, if you hold on to all kinds of things, you get weighed down. And when you're weighed down, someone else comes with another burden, they'd like a little help from you, you just don't have the strength. So letting go like this is, is not a selfish thing. You may not be able to let go absolutely of other things, but for the time being at least get some practice in letting go. Because at the very least it allows you to conserve your strength. and focus on the things that are really important. All too often we have, we're responsible for this, responsible for that. Einstein made an interesting comment one time. He said, why is it that all the great discoveries in physics in the past century have been made by young physicists and not by old physicists? He says the problem with old physicists is that they see just all sorts of avenues to pursue, and they don't know which one to choose, and they end up not really focusing on any one at all. Whereas the young ones can have plenty of time so they can take their time to focus on one and see it through. Well, that's true or not. It's an important point, though, that if you try to take on too many responsibilities, you end up not doing anything well. If you focus on one thing and focus on doing that well, okay, then you can see it through. So think of all the other things you might be holding on to, might be following now, as basically distractions that are preventing you from doing anything consistently with the type of attention and care that it needs, particularly the training of the mind. That's going to take top priority. If your mind isn't trained, then no matter what else you do, it's going to be a mess one way or another. So take care of your first priority first. Then if you have extra energy left over, okay, then you can sh share that with other people. Share your wisdom, share your insights. But in the meantime, you have to focus on this one thing in order to do it well.